What's going on? It's Jason Heath, and I can't believe I'm saying this. I bought a bass stool. If you've watched any other videos on this channel, you've probably noticed that I stand for all of them. What you probably don't know is that I used to always sit, and actually until a few years ago, I could barely play the bass standing up. Like many bass students, I started out standing, sat down at some point in high school, and I never really looked back. And while there are a lot of advantages to sitting, there are certain things to look out for. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the pros of sitting, the cons of sitting, and then why I ended up buying this particular bass stool. One of the greatest things about sitting is that it helps stabilize the instrument. So if I get my bass here, you can see that I just sit down on this stool right here and I get nice and locked in. And down here you can see, there I am just on the stool, bass is right here, and it's just kind of locked right into my body. Now that I'm sitting down, it's going to be much less likely that I put the weight on my thumb here. That's a big danger when you're standing and getting that balance right, that's one of the major challenges for a standing player. Now, when you're playing pizzicato, you have this extra point right here that the bass is resting on. It can be a little bit less of an issue, but when you're bowing, that is something that we're always struggling with. So the tendency to put weight on the thumb or even squeeze the thumb, that is really alleviated quite a bit in sitting. Another great thing about sitting is that it makes shifting a breeze. All of a sudden, I'm not having to do this whole body motion to get around the base with standing. Not that that's always a bad thing, but that's probably a topic for another video. But right here, I can get from this position to this position up to here. It's just super easy to get around the base. Finally, sitting is great for long rehearsals. Let me tell you, that's a practical reason, but it makes a big difference. And whenever I'm playing some long week of rehearsals and shows, you'll find me backstage skulking around looking for some extra bass stool. So this will save wear and tear in your body for sure. Okay, now let's talk about the cons. And there are some cons for sure. We'll start with a practical one. It's another thing to carry around with you. You got your bass, maybe you got your amp if you're a jazz player, and even if you have a stool like this that folds up, makes it a little easier to move around, it's still yet another thing to be carrying. The next con is posture, and this is something that you gotta watch out for for sitting, or at least in my experience, a lot of people kind of have a tendency to slouch when they sit, and you, the bass doesn't necessarily help with that. You get the bass in here, and you're sitting on the stool, and all of a sudden you start leaning over the bass, and before you know it, you start having back pain, you start kind of just developing this slouchy position that you just wouldn't have if you were standing up. It's just not something you would do normally when you're standing. But sitting can tend to get that habit going and even exacerbated just because of the nature of the way that you sit with this big old instrument. Now, good posture on a stool is a big topic for sure. There are all sorts of different things that people do, whether it's putting your foot on a rung or using a yoga block or a guitar foot stool. Ergonomic sitting on a stool is a huge topic for sure, way beyond what we're gonna do in this video. But if you'd like to hear more about that and different options people explore like yoga blocks and guitar foot stools, leave a comment below. As bass players, we also tend to get really used to sitting on a stool and also our specific stool. So sitting on a stool can lead to a certain I don't, fussiness might be the wrong word, but I have found for me, and I've seen that with lots of students and other players too, you get really comfortable on a stool, but you also get really comfortable on your stool. And if your stool is not available for a gig, that could be a problem. And if a stool is not available for a gig, that could be a problem. And that's one of the big reasons why I decided to start standing. I do a lot of traveling normally, and, and I'm constantly finding myself on a different base, and maybe there's a stool, maybe there's not a stool, maybe it's a short stool, a tall stool, and I was just so sick of playing like a fourth grader when I would demonstrate and there wasn't a stool that I just decided, okay, Jason, we're just gonna start standing. And something amazing kind of happened. Not only did I get the ability to stand, I got it back after decades of only sitting, but I also discovered some side benefits for the bow. So that's the last con for me for a stool, at least, is that you kind of lose some of that connection with the bow arm. And let me explain why. When you're standing, you can get in a different posture for every note on the bass. That might not seem like a big deal, but really, if you're playing down here on this low C, and then you're gonna play way up in thumb position, that is such a radical difference. That's like multiple violins in terms of length right there. And so when I'm standing, I can get my body in a position where I'm directing that weight really efficiently into the string for that note. And then all of a sudden, if I go up to high positions like up here, I can let the bass fall into my body and I still have my 
power a little bit closer to my sounding point. It's kind of a difficult thing for me to explain. I probably don't do a great job of it, but I noticed as soon as I got comfortable standing again that it seemed to help my bow arm. Also, I'm left-handed. I don't know if this matters that much or not, but I've always felt like left-hand issues are less of a deal for me than right-hand issues, and so standing seemed to even that out for me a little bit. When you're sitting, you can obviously still adjust your torso, and I think it's really good to think about adjusting for these different positions, but I do find the base kind of gets in my way a little bit more. Maybe it's because I can't pivot the base as easily and I'm locked in here with the position. So what is an advantage in many ways can be a little bit of a disadvantage, at least for me and with the students I've worked with when approaching the bow while you're sitting. Okay, so after years of standing, why did I finally break down and buy a stool? Well, there are a few reasons actually. Number one, I never really swore off sitting. In fact, if I'm playing a gig where there's a stool, I'll usually sit down. I just decided when I moved out here to San Francisco that I didn't want to be carrying a bass stool around all the time. So I go without a stool and if there is a stool at the gig, I'll probably use it. Number two, people like to come and play for me from time to time and oftentimes they sit while they play. Now, sometimes they bring their bass stool, sometimes they don't, and sometimes they've been surprised when I don't have a bass stool. It's kind of a normal thing for a bassist to have a bass stool. So I finally decided, let's just embrace the bass world and have a stool so that if people do need one, I've got one. Number three, I've missed being able to alternate between sitting and standing while I practice. For the last few years, I've just always stood while I practiced and then either stand or sit on the gig depending on if there's a stool. But there are some advantages to sitting like I talked about. And so having the opportunity to sit down and practice some things and think about left hand issues and then stand up and practice and think about right hand issues, that has been great. Okay, so why this particular bass stool? So let's check out my bass nook here, and you can see this is the space that I have allotted to bass stuff right here. And that's just how it works in a big city like San Francisco. And you can see this just folds right up, it gets out of the way, and I'm just trying to save as much space as I can in my life. So just practically speaking, I love a folding stool, it's great to get that big boxy sort of stool that I've had before, metal or wood, out of the place. It's also so much easier to carry a folding stool to the gig, and one thing I like about this stool is when it's folded up, this does not flop down, so you don't have to worry about rubber banding it or anything. You can just kind of get a grip on it and have your base and you're good to go. Again, I'd rather not carry a stool, but if I need to carry a stool, I'd rather carry something like this. It's also adjustable, which is huge for when you're having other people play on the stool, so just right down here you can just do the little latchy thing right here and slide it up and down. So if I have somebody tall coming over or I'm a little on the taller side there, somebody short right there. So that's just really useful when you're using it for, <laughs> not just yourself. It also has a rung for the left foot, which is great. This sort of thing right here. And again, yoga blocks or guitar footstools, I've used just about everything and that can be really useful, but it's nice to have something built into the stool like this. And that works great, especially if I'm just using it for a short playing session. Finally, though this might seem like a disadvantage to some people, I like that this stool does not really have a back. This kind of stool lets me get on the front edge of the stool and there's a little padding, but not too much. I find that if I have like, a ton of padding, especially soft padding, I'm sort of more likely to slouch. And if I have a back, I'm gonna lean on that back. I mean, come on, a bass player. So I like to stand the front edge of the stool and to feel like I'm as close to standing as possible. Again, we can dig way into this in a future video if you'd like me to, but just uh, short and quick here, I like that this stool helps me get on the front edge and feel like I'm in that standing position. That's a quick look at some of the pros and cons of sitting. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like me to do a similar video on standing while playing the bass, leave a comment below. If you'd like to take a deep dive at how I approach bowing on the double bass, particularly for beginners, check out the video we've got linked here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.